What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. Let's check out the South Park vaccination special. Let's do this. Mr. Adler. I don't like kids that screw around. I haven't seen him in a minute. I feel silly. They're not gonna let us in. Will you just come on? You gotta loosen up, Mr. Adler. But this is the most popular place in town right now. Music we can get it. in. Just comb your hair, you know, look your best. I can get us in. He's got about as much hair as I do. <laughs> they treat it like Come on, man, club. we've been waiting for hours. 55 and older and first responders only. Oh, uh, hey, uh, we'd like to get in there and get some vaccinations, okay? This Are you silly. on the list? Well, no, I'm not on the list. I sat on my computer 30 nights in a row trying to make a vaccination appointment and get on the goddamn list. Look, the thing is, we are school faculty, okay? You gotta let us in. No, Tell no, you Mr. have Mackey. to let in people with health issues first. I am a chain smoker, and my wife is 39 pounds overweight. I have a compromised immune system. I have genital warts, and I will show them to you. Oh, please don't. <laughs> oh, hello, ma'am. Right this way. Oh! oh 79, <laughs> bitches! Okay, okay. Hey, Kenny, I got the guys, okay? You want to talk or you want me to talk? You can talk. Even though things are supposedly getting better with the pandemic, we're more depressed than ever. The four of us just seem really different towards each other, and we're worried the past year has put a strain on our bro -ship. Kenny shared some ideas of how maybe we can navigate through this, and I think we came up with a great idea. Okay, so... You know how chicks have periods, right? What? It's true. Women have periods where they bleed from their vagina. Remember earlier today, Stan, you said our teacher was wearing white? And we realized today was hamburger day for lunch. There was lots of ketchup laying around. So me and Kenny snuck into the classroom during recess and put it on the teacher's chair. And now when we get back to class, there's going to be a bunch of ketchup on the teacher's chair. And when she stands up, it's going to totally look like she got her period. <laughs> it's going to be amazing, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, how did everyone do in their fractions? Are there any questions? Oops. I know the last few were a little tricky. Uh. Mrs. Nelson, I couldn't figure out number 14. Number 14? Okay, well, let's look at it together. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is, what is this? Oh my god, teacher had her period! And he's gonna film it, you little Kids, brat! Something must be wrong with me. Uh, you think this is funny? I come here, and I risk my life to teach you, and I can't even get vaccinations because teachers aren't important enough? And I get on the website and can't even get a straight answer on when I'll get vaccinated? Well, I'm over it! I can't do this anymore! I don't blame her. I used to teach public school, and I will never do it again. What is the name of the job where you have to... <laughs> what is the name of the job where the person puts on that long glove and then he has to inseminate cows by sticking his hand inside of them? If somebody told me, hey, Dash, you could either teach public school all day, or you can inseminate cows all day for the same salary, I will be elbows deep in cow before I ever set foot in another American public school classroom, and I'm not kidding. Should we post the one where you can see the most blood on teacher's ass or the one where she makes the dumbest face? We finally get back to school and have some sense of normalcy and you guys make the teacher walk out. What if they make us go back to remote learning? I don't want to go back to being quarantined at home like some of the other kids still are. Hey, fellas! Anything fun happening still at school is. today? Yeah, you missed it. It was the best thing ever. We put ketchup in the teacher's seat and made her think it was your period. Oh, my gosh. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah, pretty much greatest day of our lives. Do you guys know how hard it's going to be for them to find us a replacement teacher? It's not going to be hard. Yes, it is. Harrison. I'm back! Oh, it's so great to see everybody! Hey, fuck you! Hey, looking good, Thompson! Did your wife get that age tip? You know, the simple truth is, teaching is my life. I'm just completely at home in the classroom. Your uh, sabbatical was somewhat controversial. Well, I just went through a little thing. You know, I, I realized I was gay. And then I realized I wasn't gay, I was a woman. 
And after I transitioned, I thought it was a little mistake, and then I went through a phase of being the President of the United States. It's quite a journey. There could be safety issues. Oh, that's not a problem. Anyone who's been President is assigned Secret Service for the rest of their lives to keep them protected. Uh, Mr. Service! This is my private security, Mr. Service. Can you please put on some pants? Or at the very least, some boxers? Hello. Uh, thank you for your application, Mr. Garrison. We'll keep you in mind as a backup, but hopefully the vaccination process is going to start opening up. I'm actually willing to go inside and get a shot so that everyone can see just how safe it is. I said get lost. You're not getting in. Get out of my face. Please give me a shot. <laughs> Please, all I want is a shot. Hey there, Billy. Still got to wear that mask, huh? We're all vaccinated now. I'm gonna go out to the bars and get some po- yeah! Okay, Grandpa. Say, <laughs> when are they gonna vaccinate you kids? Oh yeah, you're last! <laughs> Have fun social distancing, loser! Hey, Grandpa. Guess who's back? <laughs> well, I know you've all had a lot of time off this past year. Oh, dear Christ, what have we done? But it's time to get you all back on track. Oh, you're Now, fine. I expect discipline and respect in this classroom, both to me and your new teacher's assistant, Mr. Service. Hand these papers out, Mr. Service. I wonder what Mr. Slave would say. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nice going, you dumb c- you guys are dicks. Wow, people are really pissed at us for doing the period joke, you guys. Why do us. people think we all did the period joke? Well, because I told them we all did. You knew about the prank, you could have stopped it at any time, but you didn't say a word. Silence is violence, Kyle. What? Dude, are you just gonna stand there and listen to this crap? I don't even know what to do. If you ask me, this whole pandemic has been a giant waste of time. Maybe our bro ship didn't survive. Will you shut up about that? Nobody cares about your stupid bro ships. <laughs> and now you've made Kenny cry. Shut up, Carmen. I don't see you anywhere on the list. It's gnomes. Underpants gnomes. Hey, aren't you guys the underpants gnomes? Ten months out of the year, but this time of year we help Santa. We are essential workers. Yeah, yeah. Get in line with the rest Dr. of us. Festo. pig and elephant DNA just won't splash. Mr. Service, can you grab a couple boxes of those pencils over there? Ugh. <laughs> Would you look at <laughs> that? Some pants on. He ruined our entire country, and now he's just back like nothing happened. I oh. hate him. Oh, I see. Look, everyone, there's a gay man shopping. I happen to be the only teacher brave enough to teach your kids right now, so you better all get real woke real fast. Come on, Mr. Service. I'm not sure if you remember me, Bob White. I just want you to know I was always on your side. In fact, all of us whites were really on your side. Look, I I'm just a teacher, okay? Just a teacher, I'm shopping for my class. You know, I'm a follower of QAnon. What are we supposed to do to stop the vaccinations? Oh, They're vaccinating people right now, seeding people with their microchips. Surely you have a plan. We're on the internet every night waiting for word. The word is get a fucking life, jackass. Blow shit out your dick hole. <laughs> Shit out your d hole. He's trying to give us some kind of signal. Oh, God damn it. Hey! Hey, you damn old people! <laughs> Stop doing donuts in the school parking lot! Huh? I said you old people need to get it! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> hey, Kenny, guys, guys, come on, you agreed to canceling. We've been having a lot of problems, and uh, we all want to work on our bro ship, don't we, guys? Yes. yes. 
We just feel like we're going through the brotions, you know? Because you guys pulled a prank and made the teacher leave and now everybody hates us! I don't care! I come here and I listen to you kids bitch about your stupid problems every day! And I'm 50 years old! I could die tomorrow from this COVID shit! Please, Mr. Mackey, we just want to get our old teacher back for everybody, okay? There's only one way you're getting your teacher back, and that's if teachers get their hands on the vaccine. How do we do that? There's a place in town. Very hard to get into. Very exclusive. Walgreens. <laughs> I've tried to get in many times. Dress like a fireman. Okay. Dress like a little old lady. They got security <laughs> up the ass. You find a way inside, get all the vaccines you can and bring them here to school, you do that, you just might get your teacher back. Okay. Our country's future is at a precipice. And that is why I've called together every QAnon follower in our town. You got a message from Q? Not from Q. From the chosen one. <gasps> Yes, we saw him in the produce section of the grocery store. And he said to me, blow shit out your dick hole. <laughs> I immediately knew something was amiss because one can't move feces through their penis urinary tract. Blow shit out hole, B-S-D-H. We all know what B-S is, but D-H? D-H are the initials of David Harris, the Anon from Akron, Ohio, who said that the elite use Latin to send coded messages. Out your dick. Oh, Anno Giannis Domini Homme. Do what he does. You are reaching. <laughs> the Chosen is teaching now. He's taking Q's message straight to the children. And he wants us to do the same. This is our time to strike. The elite want to f with our kids? We'll f theirs. Yeah! That sounds wrong. Oh, hey, hi. We're with the nonprofit service Kids for Community, both spelled with a K. Yeah, and we assist senior <laughs> citizens who need the vaccine, but that need help getting to the right place. Go on in. Oh, no! Hey, I'm in Community Kids, too! So where's my goddamn money? What? I told you I already got the vaccine. I'm doing this for the cash. Yeah, but we already paid you. Oh, I must have Alzheimer's. I'm just an old lady. Pay again or I squeal. You goddamn old bitch! Just pay her, Cartman. What? These boys are helping you, ma'am. Oh, uh, actually, I'm not sure. I have a little Alzheimer's. Might need a little more green back to jar my memory. Oh, you fucking slut! Cartman, just stick to the fucking plan! Oh, great, Kyle, now he knows there's a plan! What plan? They're lying about community kids! It's community with a C like normal? Kitty, grab the vaccine! <laughs> oh! Run! Go, 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 go! Hey! Community kids have vaccines! Last time, Ellen. I don't want our son going to that public school. Is Scott Malkinson eating Frankenberry cereal? Frankenberry cereal is coming your way. How about a monster for breakfast today? I used to kill that stuff. It's pure sugar. And yeah, he has diabetes. He's diabetic. But it's really good. Haven't you heard? There's a brand new private tutoring company that's fast and affordable. Do you feel like the government has failed you and your child during this time of COVID? Then call us, the tutors at TutorNod. Forget the classroom. TutorNod Tutor is bespoke learning that is straight from the internet to your child. We sift through all the information on the internet and present it to your child for a uniquely curated experience. Let TutorNod save your child, literally. Contact TutorNod today on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I don't know how South Park manages to pull it off, man. They are always on top of the issues and they, they just know how to do it. All right, sit down, we don't have much time. Huh? Tom Hanks and Oprah are just two at the very top of an elite group of people who control everything we see and do. They feed upon children in order to maintain their elite status and that isn't the worst of it. Do you know what pedo is? Here, let me show you. Dad! <laughs> the community kids. These brave kids have taken it into their own hands to get people a shot. That's all people want, just a shot. And these boys have made it so you just might get that shot and have a chance at, at hope and some, some happiness in this in this shit world. That... Okay, thank you, Chris. We'll uh, get back <laughs> no, to you. No, fuck you, Tom, because community kids are just what this town and this world needed. And it's amazing that some kids took some goddamn time to actually go out and do something. Fuck you, Tom.
<laughs> Turn the mic down after. Today is standardized testing. We're gonna make sure you lazy ducks have still been studying the through this global pandemic. <laughs> Sir? Yes, Mr. Service. Where Ooh, are my students? students? Baby, you always know where Wendy is. Where is she? Her parents pulled her out of school and got her a private tutor. A private tutor? Why would they get a private tutor? Um, I'm pretty sure it's because her parents hate you. What makes you think that? Because I was talking to them about it. Because <laughs> I hate you too. I am trying to get things back to normal around here. Why is everyone acting She's like honest. this? Why is everyone against me? I don't know, sir. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Come on, Mr. Service. Ms. Nelson, we would like for you to come back to school tomorrow because we have COVID-19 vaccinations. I heard you were the ones responsible for the period prank. And it was so uncalled for and so wrong. I mean, especially because we're guys. I mean, dudes sitting around coming up with period jokes, like how old are we? I don't trust you. I'll just How wait until you? the government decides teachers are important enough to get their vaccinations. You are so important, which is why it was so not funny what we did. I mean, what is funny about blood coming out of a woman's vagina? Like, it's sexist, first of all. And you know what else? It's just lazy. Just like dialing it in. That's what we were doing. We were just dialing it in. I love how self-aware You better are. be at school tomorrow morning, and you better really have vaccinations for all the teachers. Hey, we will be there. Period. Okay? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> did you guys hear what I said? Why did you almost blow it at the very end, you idiot? Relax, guys. She's gonna come. Will you please say something to him? I've got a dream to fulfill, and all I need is a shot. Please, please, just give me a shot. Listen, c community kids, all I want is a shot, and you can <laughs> give me that shot. So that dramatic. one shot. That's all I need. All I want is a shot too. If I had Auditions. a shot, I would make the most of it. <laughs> Theatrics. This is my shot. I I have to have this shot. Uh oh. Grab the vaccine. We better get out of here. I need this shot. Come on, man. This man is climbing the house. When Jeffrey Epstein, the billionaire, was found guilty of sex trafficking, he was set to squeal on all the elites in Hollywood and in Washington who used his child services. But Epstein oh, was found dead in his cell from quote suicide. Why do the elites want children from sex traffickers? Adrenochrome. It is harvested from children for a euphoric and life-enhancing benefit. This what satanic the cabal of Hollywood and political elites all need the adrenochrome to maintain their positions of power. And they will continue oh, to do bruh. so until we stand up against them. Oh, Obama. Oh, goodness. Now, do you have any questions, Craig? So does Oprah drink the same blood as Obama, or is it usually a different kid? It's kids from all over the world. You think you can take my students from my classroom? Get her, Mr. Service! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Now who's in charge of all you tutors? It, it's secret. Choke her out, Mr. Service. No, please. You I'm listening. Go. It was the whites. Oh. Is she dead? And they left the body. Oh, great. I guess 2021 is going to be just like 2020. Yeah, pretty much was. You guys know Mr. Lawson, Jenny Lawson's dad? Who? Yeah. He's offering us 2,000 bucks for a vaccination. What are you doing? Dude, people really want their shot. I'm asking around to see what they're willing to pay for it. I'm a little Harvey Weinstein. We are giving these to the teachers at the school. Kyle, this is what our bro ship Hustling. needs. What the bro ship needs is for us to do the right thing and fix the problem of everyone hating us. Maybe for the bro ship, we do what's best for us. What's best for us is thousands of dollars. That's always what's best. We did all this because we wanted to fix the damage of the period prank. That means taking these to the school tomorrow morning for our teachers. I'm going to put these somewhere safe so no one gets tempted to do the wrong thing. I don't know why you don't stand up to him more. It's really disappointing. Planting those seeds of doubt. Hey, Dad. Look, I'm okay. I won't be home until tomorrow because well, I'm doing something really important. Oh, okay, Kyle. Sounds good. Thanks, buddy. You're not worried? Hey, we trust you, Kyle. Say, Kyle, we heard you have some COVID-19 vaccinations. Well, they're oh. for our teachers. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. You know, if you think your teacher is worth saving more than us. It's not like that. Well, it sounds like that. Sounds like your teacher's life is more important than your mom and dad's. He's not making this easy. Dad, please don't. You know, we're not spring chickens anymore. The virus is still out there, Kyle. And it's still killing people. I don't know how you'd feel if mom or me got COVID and died in these last few months. 
It's because you did nothing. Don't do nothing, Kyle. You know what, Kyle? Please don't say it. Silence is violence, Kyle. Don't <laughs> kill mom, buddy. Shit. Who is it, sweetheart? It's the savior of our country and still president of the United States who has impeached unjustly. Get them, Mr. Servant! Ah! No. What's this all about? Did we do something wrong? God damn right you did something wrong! Don't you understand? Everything is being manipulated. Everyone's trade. being manipulated. So that's why everyone in town is being such an inconsiderate jerk about me coming back. Yes, they don't want people to like you. They need people to hate you. Who are they? They're the elites. They do whatever they want. And they feed on the pain and torture of children. What are you doing? I'm just yeah. getting things ready to go. So then why are you replacing some of the vaccines with cactus cooler? All right, Stan, look. It's just the pressure of everything, okay? I don't want my mom to die. I don't want my mom to die either. I can't believe that you would lie to me. That you would hide shit from me. Hello. Oh, no. Nothing, Kenny. Everything's fine. Yeah. You miss everything We're going to go to the school now, buddy. Okay. I'm just going to try and pretend this didn't happen, but only because it's what's best for Kenny. That bro ship is crumbling. I just want this over with. Let's get these stupid things to the teachers and go home. I don't think so, community kids. You're not poisoning anybody with those vaccinations. The fuck are you talking about, Scott? I learned <laughs> the truth, and I won't let you hurt the teacher. We don't have time for this, Scott. You don't understand. I'm part of a militant group now. A secret cabal of patron children. Lil cuties. Lil cuties, cuties with a Q and an apostrophe after the L. That's way better than community kids, guys. I told you, we're getting lazy. Move in on my position, cuties! You're not hurting our teacher again. You don't even know what those vaccines are doing at all. Do you guys really trust anybody anymore? Yeah! Butters? You're a part of this too? Well, I just wanted to believe in something that would get me out of the house. Well, I didn't give a shit what it was. Now just <laughs> put down the vaccines and walk away, community I kids. I love him. What you believe is really stupid. We'll see who's stupid. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. You can see this awful gang is trying to stop the community kids just because the community kids believe in something and actually and actually care. They care enough to do something. Yeah, that's basically what the little cuties are doing too, right, Chris? Well, what do you mean, Tom? Well, the community kids are acting on something they believe in, and so are the little cuties, am I right? Like, what is the perspective, difference? Yep. Oh, yeah, well, the difference, Tom, is that you're a giant piece of shit. That's the <laughs> fucking difference. Okay, let's just... You're gonna even remotely defend these monsters when community kids are promoting change? Just fuck you, Tom, I'm out! Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, look! And why is Jesus in the room? We've been trying to warn everyone, and then Q released a new post saying the most important day would be March 4th. At first it didn't make sense. Nothing's happening on March 4th. Until I saw a Super Bowl ad for a new streaming service which launched on March 4th. Streaming is also the term used for nanotechnology microchips invented by Bill Gates that are being put into a liquid and then shot into people's arms as a vaccine. Who the hell is doing all this? The Hollywood elites! All of them rich, powerful people who got to where they were by drinking <laughs> adrenochrome from tortured children. Anyone who gets vaccinated is going to be tracked and manipulated for the rest of their lives. I got an email that all teachers are about to be vaccinated at the school. You're telling me they're all going to become mindless zombies who are fine with childbirth? Yes! Well, jeez, we got to get to the school. I'll let all Here's the other adults right know. Boy. We'll put a stop to this once and for all. Let's do this. <laughs> hey, what the hell just happened? It's the Hollywood elites! They're on to us! Come on! Oh, well, my holy Jesus! Even in the Don't snow. The truth coming out, no huh? pants. Damn you! Cut the crap. You said you'd be here at 7 a.m. And, you know, we just ran into a little hiccup, so we wanted to see if you could meet us somewhere else for the vaccine. Oh, no, I knew this was a prank. You're not tricking me into going anywhere. 
No, no, Mr. Nelson, it's not a prank. Okay, fine, look, we'll be there, okay? Just sit tight. What was that? You know we can't get into the school. She's not gonna come meet us, Kyle. You didn't even try. He didn't try because he wants to sell the vaccines for money. And what about you, Kyle? You were the one trying to take the vaccines for yourself this morning. Oh, he what? Wow, okay, thought we had gotten past that, but... Look, let's just face it, you guys. We don't trust each other, and we don't like each other. We can't keep pretending. All right, guys. I guess it's time we had the talk we never wanted to have. Kenny, you want to go get on your iPad for a minute? What? No, I want to hold off. We just, we need to talk for a second, Kenny. Look, I downloaded Madagascar 3. You want to watch with your 12 <laughs> headphones? <laughs> treat him like a kid. Yeah, I'll go. Hey, he's... <laughs> I've been trying as hard as I can to hold things together, but I have to admit, I'm just going through the brosions. We can't just force things for Kenny's sake. It's not good for us, and it's not good for him. What happens now? I think I have a plan. My, my balls are freezing, sir! <laughs> Mr. Surface's balls are freezing! Don't give in to them! They're trying to make a joke of everything! That's what they do! How do the elites control Mr. Service's bowels? You still don't get it, do you? They don't just drink adrenochrome. They run the show. The whole damn show. It comes down to two people. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Not me, you swamp artist. <laughs> They're making fun of me to try to discredit my belief. <laughs> oh, you don't like that, do you? Don't want the world to know that. I don't care what you do to kids. I just want people to like me again! You son of a bitch! Yeah! Ah! Mr. Thurman! Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. What the hell is this? So hey, come weird. back! How would you like to make a deal? Ugh. You go to hell! You go to hell and you die! We all want what's best for Kenny, so we have to find a way to compromise and move on with our lives. So how do we do it? We use a 2-2-3. Two, two, Kyle, you have Kenny for two days starting on Monday. I have Kenny Thursday and Friday, and then Stan, you get him for the weekend. Then we switch. Where I have Kenny starting Monday, Stan gets two days, and Kyle gets a weekend. It's like do we really custody. have to do this? That, that all seems overly confusing. It would be easier if I just knew I always had Kenny on certain days. Three, three, four, four, rotation. Makes everyone days consistent. <laughs> uh, hang on a second, guys. Everything okay, buddy? Yeah, what's going on? Well, we're almost done in here, Kenny. You liking that birthday cake flavored ice cream? Yeah, it's fine, but I'm Okay, you're doing great, pal. Well, I say that out of all of those, the first one makes the most sense. The two, two, three. I agree. This way, we don't have to be bros, but Kenny still has the best possible life. Two, two, three. That's so ridiculous that it just might work. Prepare for the storm! Yeah, way more people than vaccines. What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. This isn't our fight anymore, Cal. We set out to do something. I'm not letting our bro ship fall to the pandy just yet. All right, then let's get those vaccines to the teachers. Hey! Hold on a second, everybody! I think I can... I think that... I can help things out here! What? What the fuck is that? It's him! The Chosen One! He's come to save us all like the prophecy foretold on the internet! Why does it have We've all been through the it? proverbial butthole of hardships lately. I thought we could all just magically be friends again. But relationships are very fragile things. And in times of crisis, when we need each other most, it is hard it's to sometimes when we grow speech. furthest apart. But through it all, Mr. White here has taught me a very important lesson. Make sure you're on the side of the people with the most power. It's Air Israel with enough vaccines for every adult in town. Garrison! Boys! Boys, you made it! Of course we made it. Because our bro ship can survive anything. Hello, Mrs. Nelson. We got your vaccination for you, Miss Nelson. Boys, Good. you really did it. I, 
I can't believe it. For a while there, I thought I would... <coughs> Excuse me. I, I thought I wasn't going to be... <coughs> oh, no. She Gosh. got COVID. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, no. As a teacher, Miss Nelson did everything she could for her students. So it seems even more unfair that she was just a few days late getting the vaccine before she died of COVID. And now, Mr. Garrison takes over teaching for Ms. Nelson permanently. I think we should all take a moment to say, hey, the rest of us made it, South Park. We're on the other side of this damn thing. And so it's time for adults to screw these masks and party like it's 2021. Oh my goodness. Oh, the taco and the juiciest. Oh, yeah. Oh, Gluck, yeah. Kanye. Just bring your guitar and sing your song. Hey, we still have some of the pandemic special, but the vaccination special is about out. Yeah, I guess it is what's best for everybody. What are you guys talking about? Everything's going to be okay, Kenny. I'll see you on Monday. And I'll come pick you up on Thursday, Kenny. Huh? Hey, Carpet. Yeah, dude, they're reopening Casa Bonita this weekend. You want to come with us? I am going to Casa Bonita. Casa Bonita? Hell yeah, I'll come. Oh, wait, I can't. I have fucking Kenny this weekend. Shit. <laughs> Mr. Hat. <sighs> nice doing business with you, you little child-murdering pet pals. Where do I even start with that special? There was so much to it, but I thought it was really well done. In my humble opinion, I think South Park does the social commentary thing maybe better than any show I've ever seen. And they do the satire in a way that both sides can kind of get on board with it. And I don't know how they manage to pull it off, but they do. That ending was so messed up, especially for Miss Nelson, but it was funny. And it was a great recommendation. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.